Cascador is now a popular 3D animation software, which uses AI to help you in animation. It's not gonna do your work, but it's gonna help you with things like physics, secondary motions, in betweening, and so on. And just a couple of days ago, Cascador got an important update in version 2025.2, which brought with it some interesting features. For example, Cascador's in betweening tool has been significantly upgraded with a smart algorithm that now considers the character's velocity and tangents between keyframes. This means that generated animations flow more smoothly and transition more naturally between poses. In addition, nine new styles, which include walk, run, crawl, jump, fall, acrobatic, and combat, can now be applied as guides for the AI. While the tool still relies heavily on your main key poses, selecting a style helps. I mean help steer the in-between motion toward the intended type, making the result more context appropriate in addition to being dynamic. In addition to this, a brand new fulcrum detection system has been introduced, allowing the software to automatically identify critical contact or pivot points during animation like jumps or vaults. As you can imagine, this removes the need for manually tagging fulcrum frames in most cases. However, for advanced users or edge cases, the old fulcrum state controls are still available, ensuring full flexibility. In addition to this, the new system is more reliable, I mean overall, and makes physics-driven motion like leaping or landing much faster to set up. Another important thing I want to talk about in this update is a new feature in beta called Trajectory Tangents, which now allows animators to directly edit trajectory tangents in the viewport. You see, when in the trajectory edit mode, you can manipulate handles on the animation paths to adjust spacing and arcs with greater control. This is especially useful for refining timing and easing between positions. Also note that this functionality currently only works with certain object types and interpolation modes, like Bezier. But it is a big step forward for more visual and intuitive trajectory editing. Furthermore, the point constraint system has been redesigned for ease of use. So instead of working with cryptic numbers and boolean toggles, you now have access to clear drop-down menus that list available constraint targets. This change makes it much simpler to set up and manage constraints, particularly when pinning parts of a rig to object in the scene. And if you are using all the rigs, you will need to refresh them by toggling in and out of rig mode to ensure compatibility with the new UI system. Other things I want to mention is that Mocha from video has better pose tracking and foot placement, so it automatically reduces sliding and keeps characters grounded with less cleanup required. In addition to this, hotkeys are more responsive now, and the outliner has now a collapse all button. Also, timeline scrolling is smoother, and the Twin Machine now opens a floating window. And interestingly enough, they added 3D mouse support. For 3D connections, Space Mouse which allows fluid 3D navigation, and it is currently available for Windows users with the official driver installed. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.